We got breaking news on the NFL where the New Orleans Saints will be without star running back Alvin Kamara for tonight's game against the Dallas Cowboys. That's per NFL Network. Kamara hasn't played if we're keeping track here since week nine against the Falcons, which also started the Saints current four game losing streak. He's not alone, though. They will also be without their starting tackles and Teron Armstead and Ryan Ramchek. Not great timing. This news coming as Taysom Hill expected to get his first start at quarterback this season. He'll also a little banged up there dealing with a foot injury, but was full participant in practice all week long. All right, so let's get that fantasy perspective here with the latest news with AK41 out. Our Jamie Eisenberg joining us here in HQ and your reaction to this of not having Kamara in the lineup tonight for the Saints. Yeah, they go from three running backs to two. Uh, you know, so Taysom Hill and, and Mark Ingram will be the two running backs back there as opposed to, you know, Hill, Ingram, and, and Kamara. Uh, obviously, you're going to see a lot of running. You know, Taysom Hill, that's what he does at the quarterback position. So uh, you know what you're going to get from him. Um, maybe a few additional goal line opportunities now without Kamara there. But clearly, Mark Ingram becomes a must-start fantasy running back. We saw in two of the games that Kamara has been out. Remember, last week, they did not have both Ingram and Kamara, and it was a disaster with Tony Jones and Ty Montgomery against the Bills. But we did see in the two previous games for Mark Ingram at least 14 PPR points in both of those outings. He's going to get a lot of work. You know that's what their game plan is going to be. And so Ingram becomes uh, a, a, clearly a, a, a must-start guy, you know, borderline number one running back. Just the opportunity for him to be a star here is, uh, is on the table. So love the setup for Mark Ingram tonight. Projected over just over seven points against Dallas tonight there at home at the crib, taking on the Cowboys. Um, yeah, you're that, looking at you're looking at the numbers though that and, and the rankings before the right. adjustment. Once he gets adjusted, he'll be you know well in double digits in terms of his projected points and obviously closer to a uh, top 15 guy. That's where I'll have him ranked. Okay, elevated to that RB one. Uh, back to Taysom Hill though. We just mentioned, of course, not have the protection there with two tackles out his first start. Are you looking at him? All right, you know what? You still might want to start him, but you might be worried a little bit there in his first start of the year. I mean, there's obviously concern, you know, especially when you look at this Dallas defense and what Micah Parsons does, you know, and just in getting pressure on the opposing quarterbacks. And obviously this defense, when they've had opportunities to attack opposing uh, passers, they've been successful at it. But this is a different breed. You know, he's not going to sit there and just drop back seven step, five step, you know, and try and throw the ball all over the place. He's going to be a running guy. And we saw last season in the four starts that he made in place of Drew Brees, three of them, 22 or more fantasy points. And so you know what they're going to do. They're going to try and limit what he has to do throwing the ball. They're going to try and run this, you know, uh, offense that our, that our buddy Pete Frisco loves. It's going to be very run-centric and, and, you know, unique and different and uh, probably a little, you know, frustrating to watch at times. But his rushing ability sets him apart. And so I, I think, you know, from the standpoint of, you know, just comparing him to some guys, I like him better than Joe Burrow this week because I don't think Burrow's going to have to do much based on the run game there. I like him better than some of the other streaming options that we talk about on Fantasy Football today, like Tua Tunga Vailoa. Uh, Carson Wentz, I like him better there. I like him better than Taylor Heineke. There's an opportunity for uh, for Taysom Hill to deliver, and actually this news makes me like him more, the fact that he doesn't have Alvin Kamara out there to steal some touches from him. Yeah, you mean it there. Of course, uh, Pete Prisco, his favorite quarterback in the league. We already know that. That's his QB one since day one there. Um, looking at the fantasy options, when you look at the Saints, they've been banged up not just this week, but the last four weeks or so since that skid. If you have any of these options on your roster, do you kind of worry the further we get down the season here? Uh, I mean, yeah, you got to be a little bit concerned. You know, the hope would be is that Alvin Kamara and, and the Saints still stay in playoff contention and that they're not going to just put him on the shelf and say, okay, we'll get back to 2022 when we get our quarterback situation hopefully fixed, the tackle situation fixed, and everybody's healthy. But they're still in, playoff, in the playoff hunt. So I think as long as that stays the case, I know Kamara's going to want to play. You know, he's not that type of guy that's going to want to shut it down unless something is really serious here. And at this point, you got to be concerned a little bit that that's the case. But uh, if you don't, then you have Mark Ingram as a must-start fantasy running back until further notice. So it's one of those situations where there is a direct handcuff. But obviously, people are relying on Alvin Kamara. You want to see him back out there. And then we'll see if maybe Taysom Hill can get something out of his receiving core that Trevor Simeon did not. You know, Marcus Callaway has been a disappointment. We thought he was going to step in for Michael Thomas and play well. That hasn't been the case. Uh, Traquan Smith has done some nice things of late. Uh, but remember, it's not just the tackles that have been hurt. It's not just Kamara that's been hurt. They had a tight end in Adam Troutman who was starting to make some plays had a touchdown in his last game against Philadelphia. He's now out for the season with a knee injury as well. So they've been really beat up across the board. So you got to start to worry about all the Saints moving forward. All right, we got our first hand to see how this team pans out tonight against Dallas, as you mentioned there. As always, Jamie Asbury, I'm pretty sure you guys will be busy today with FFT. Speaking Absolutely. of that, of course, uh, you can catch the guys later on today, Fantasy Football Today. Of course, the latest news, Alvin Kamara out, as well as the starting tackles for the Saints. And, Ron Armstead and Ryan Ramchek, but oh, Taysom Hill gets his first start at QB1 this season against the Cowboys. Download and follow the guys today, of course, for more around the league.
you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.